Hi there, welcome to this video. This is Jewel of Ages 2, the Codex. So, just when you thought Jewel of Ages 2 couldn't get any better, we've got the base set here, which is, I mean, it's a super slim box, isn't it? Crammed full of goodness. Um, these are coin sheets, great way of holding your character tokens. Uh, and then we have the little coin um, plastic uh, keepsakes, can't remember what they're called, capsules. And the, the characters go in there really, really well. So we've got the base set there. I mean, where's this book going to go? It's going to have to live outside the boxes because there's so much stuff in these. Look, the box is just crammed full of stuff. Look at that. Absolutely rammed. So, um, yeah, but this is the Codex. So this Brett Morell just put this out and uh, it came yesterday actually. And you can get it from your local Amazon, which is brilliant. And it, everything, it's everything Jewel of Ages. It's fantastic value. It's, a, it, it's really, really good because if you look in here now, it's got the rules, it's got clarifications, it's got the strategy, it's got the characters, it's got every bit of artwork to do with Jewel of Ages 2 too. So let's have a look, rules and missions. Quickly fly through it because there is over 200 pages. So look at all this, all in one place. This is this is the Bible. This could have been called the Jewel of Ages 2 Bible. All about labyrinths and team bases. Missions. Standard labyrinth missions. I mean, this is the book. Clarifications here, like FAQ. Although there is, I think, FAQ at the back as well. Strategy guide. It's a beautiful book. And Brett was on the Board Game Geek saying that it will not be put into an electronic file because it just wouldn't do it justice. And you can see why, really. Choosing characters. No perfect game. I mean, you just need a nice bookmark. Might even make a Jewel of Ages 2 bookmark. And you just need to get through this, don't you? What a fantastic read. Immerse yourself into the Jewel of Ages 2 game scene. There's the um, World Spanner guys there. I mean, that's Brett at the end. It's got to be, hasn't it? I'd think so. Now we've got the characters. About the symbols. Now look at this, we're really getting into the into the good stuff now. On page 75 already. And then we've got all the characters out of the game, of which out the game of the base set and master set. And this amazing got artwork. That's just so so much. Tells you all about them. Thanks. Bless you. Thanks. Davy Crockett there, Daylight and Dusk, Dingo Jake, all the characters, let's whiz through because there's so many isn't there, but as you can see you read, read all about them, really neat, full page for Geronimo there, and for some of these, Grok, he's cool looking isn't he, reminds me of Little Soldiers Grok, Small soldiers, was it called? Something. Small soldiers, I think. Uh, and Ivy Main. Oh, it's made, it makes you want to go vegan. I don't know why this horse has got the horn. Joshua Jordan. Still all the characters coming. We've got the old mother-in-law there, Mildred. So much isn't there in this book. Ned Kelly.
We've got to be getting towards the end of the characters shortly, I think. Maybe not. Ray Gun Roger. Of course, these are all with big character sheets and Red River Roy in the actual book itself. Is it the red? That was spooked me out that card, the Sandman. And that one, Seven Eyes. Poof. You see, so much in here to read and discover. I see all this uh, the full art that was on the back of the platters. A lot of it. There we go. That's it. That is the codex. And on the back, we've got the uh, nice iconography here about base adventures, lift adventures, terrain types, and phases, and what have you. That is the complete. Jewel of Ages 2 experience with the Codex. Thanks for watching.